you are blessed for joining my name is quillet god bless you for sharing god bless you for liking god bless you for commenting i am a gospel minister and i'm speaking about abusive marriages and we are pushing this agenda because by the end of it all thousands of people will be saved from abusive marriages I have been listening to some interviews going on. I have listened to the interview of the late minister Osinachi's mother, her twin sister, and her friend with the BBC. And I gathered out something. Whatever led her to this abusive marriage, whatever made her remain in this abusive marriage, belief is one of them. Belief is not something bad, but it can be very dangerous. Because belief have brainwashed so many people. Belief can lead to abusive marriages. Hmm. Belief means faith, trust, confidence. These are strong three words joined together. So I was asking myself, where did she get it? From her denomination, from her friends, from her family? Where did she get it? Because what I saw was that they all said one common thing. If the husband beat her and she come back to the family or if she tell somebody and they tell her you have to quit this marriage then she'll say no, leave it. He will change. So she was believing Peter Wanchuku will change the pastor. She had that belief. Where did she get it? Let me tell you, it is not somebody's fault if the person is working in a particular belief, especially the negative ones. They become confused. They themselves, they don't know what they are doing. And if you don't take care, you might think a spell has been cast on them. It is so, so pathetic. And that is how it is. Belief will make a married man Go to a prophetess to be bathed, naked, and he will not feel ashamed. He doesn't care. A married woman will go to a prophet to be bathed. She doesn't care. She will not ask any questions and she will come quietly to her husband. That is belief. Belief will make somebody drink three liters of uh, olive oil one uh, morning, afternoon, evening. And you know, a lot of oil, you can get cholesterol. But belief will, will make that person drink. Most of these women you see are about going about with very heavy bags. If they are going to work, it is olive oil. They are believing that for a miracle. I'm not condemning oil. Please, don't get me wrong. I am not condemning any man of God. My husband is a pastor. I am talking about a fact. They are negative beliefs. They are killing people. They are killing people. And if people... Work in such beliefs. You dare not. If you are a family member, you will be called a witch. If you are a sister, they will ignore you. Sometimes they even want you to work in that same belief. But there is one thing. Every belief must be based on the word of God. Belief must be based on the word of God. Unfortunately, some beliefs are based on ideology. And development of men and they are connected to the Bible and people will, they will quote scripture to support this kind of belief yes so if people are working in negative belief I'm, I am telling you it is not easy to draw them out from that place belief has killed so many people it leads to abusive marriage it will make them accept anything that come Let's read something. John chapter 4 verse 24. The Bible says, God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Beliefs, they nurture you. The right ones, the truth, believe. They nurture you. They restore you. They prepare you. They build you up for heaven. They don't kill you. And the Bible says again, 
Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 7 he said, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is no manipulation. There is no prison. There is no slavery. There is liberty. So where from this? Why should I say I have the Spirit of God and be walking in, in panic and be walking in fear with my own husband, with my own family? Why, why, why should it be so? People, don't let us take certain things for granted. We need to be extra careful when it comes to our beliefs. Because some people are walking as if, excuse me to say, they are mad. But it is because of belief. They will not bath for seven days because they are observing something. They are waiting for a miracle. And that is what they believe. Some young women, they are 13 years. They are already looking like 18 years old women. That is belief. Some young guys, 25 years, they are looking like old men. 100 years old men. That is belief. Some will never travel. Some will stop eating certain foods. Mingling with some people. Those are all beliefs. Ideology built by men. And because people believe in them, they have no option. And one thing is also that some people, they work in these beliefs because they don't have money. They don't have money. They have no option. So they have to be there. And they will, they, they will pass it on to their children. That is the most dangerous part of it all. They will pass it on to their kids. And if care is not taken, their kids will also grow and work in this same kind of belief. Some beliefs are deadly. Not all beliefs are good. Denominations have their beliefs. I, as a church, I have my belief. But why you pick your belief is the most important thing. And all these things, it takes the hand of God. It takes the hand of God to deliver you out of uh, this belief. So we need to be extra careful. If you have a friend, a family member who is working in such belief, begin to pray for that person. Do something about it. You pray, you cancel. Because it's not easy to pull them out. As a matter of fact. She believes in the, in the pastor. She believes in her own beliefs. She loves her friends. His friends. And they all have common beliefs. So how do you expect him? How do you expect her? To go out, it takes the hand of God. They, it, they, they, they even look at you as somebody who is hypocrite. You are, you are not righteous. You are not walking in the newness of God because of certain beliefs. I am telling you, some have problems with their family members calling them witches and, and wizards and so on and so forth. Abusive marriages, most of them are based on beliefs. Please share this video. So I was, I, I sat there and I said, no. Who, who in her right state would love to live in such a marriage where she'll be abused? She'll work and her money will be collected. She'll not have access to her own bank account. She's not free. Who will do that? Some people are affiliating it to spiritual things, but I am telling you that belief can let somebody behave that way. And that is what we must all know. So we will rise together. I told you we are praying alongside. And people will not die again in abusive marriages. Please like the page. Follow on Facebook at Quinlet Music. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Quinlet Music. Instagram. Please go and follow. And follow us on TikTok. On Twitter. Follow us. We have a lot for you. You listen to songs that will lift up your souls. You pray with them in times of trouble. If you cannot even pray, listen to them because we have prayed upon those songs and they will touch your lives. I'm telling you, we have testimonies upon testimonies. The Lord is using this song
to touch lives. God bless you.